Hello kids, welcome to Rapid Gyan. So today in this class we are going to study introduction part of exercise 1.3 where I will be explaining the concept of or which needs to be uh, which is going to be used in solving exercise 1.3 and we will solve few examples on that concept. So what you are seeing over here, you are seeing that few rational numbers like 10 upon 3, 7 upon 8, 1 upon 7, these are few rational numbers and we have converted these these rational numbers are in the form of p by q and we have converted this into the decimal forms okay and how we have converted we have converted by using long division method okay so what we are going to do we are going to note down few observations upon this so what are those obs observations so observations are slightly different what you are seeing that your remainder is zero Okay, and here it's your remainder is one one means keep repeating. If you ever you can see that the from first step itself the remainder is repeating. Okay, here also if you see that it's one four two eight five seven till here after that again it's started from one. So again it will come the same value. I, I will say one four two eight five seven one. So this is your uh, quotient. So here what, what you are seeing in the remainder. So in the remainder you are seeing that 3, 2, 6, 4, 5, 1 and again it's 3. So if you go next again it will come 2 then 6 and so on. So what you are seeing there are two types of remainder you are seeing. One that ends with 0. Another one that ends with that's repeating means that's non-zero. Correct? So I will write over here that your remainder is remainder is either equal to zero or repeating or repeating. Okay. So if there is there are rational numbers in which so these are called actually what is this called? This is called rational number. If your remainder is zero, so this kind of rational number uh, or this kind of decimals are called terminating decimals. This kind of decimals are called terminating decimals which we have already studied in the previous lectures okay and those whose remainders are repeating so those are called non-terminating but repeating non-terminating but repeating this also and this also your non-terminating and repeating decimals okay so now you must be thinking that previously I have explained on the basis of quotient not on the basis of remainder. Now I am telling you these things on the basis of remainder. So actually it's the same thing. If your remainder is 0, so when you will get your remainder 0? You will get your remainder 0 when your the answer with the quotient part will terminate it. Then only you will get your remainder 0. So it means this is the part of terminating decimals. So whether if someone is saying if your remainder is 0, it means that's a terminating decimal. Okay, and if your remainder is not zero, if you are see, seeing that here remainder is repeating one, 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 so it means that's non-terminating, but its answer will also repeat. You can see it's three, 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 and it will keep going, so which I can write it like three point three bar. Correct. In this case, what you are seeing? In this case, it's your answer is zero point one four two eight five seven, and then again a bar on that. Okay, again a bar on that because after that it will repeat itself. So this is also non-terminating and repeating. Okay, so this is also one of your example. So after this there is a very interesting fact which I am going to tell you about this. That the numbers present in the repetition string. Okay, this is a called repetition string. This is one string which is called and it's getting repeated. So this is called repetition string. So the numbers present in the repetition string are always less than the divisors means the total numbers like count of these numbers. So how many numbers are here? Here I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 numbers are there. And what is your divisor? Your divisor is 7. So 6 is always less than sorry 6 is always less than 7. Okay. Come to this case. In this case the number which is repeating and in the repeating string there is only one number which is 3 means it's 1 and 1 is less than 3, 3 was your divisor. So this is one of the uh, observation which you will have to note it down. Okay. 
Okay, so now we know that how to convert a rational number which is in the form of p by q into decimals. Okay, but suppose uh, there is a question comes that you will have to convert the decimals into rational number. For example, in the question it has been asked that 3.333, you will have to convert that into p by q form. So how we will do it? So we are going to study next. So your first example of this exercise is saying that there is a rational number uh, named 3.142678. You will have to convert this rational number in p by q form where your q is not equal to 0. So how you are going to do this? So it's very simple. You guys might have studied this in your previous classes that in this case what we do we first remove the decimal. First we will remove the decimal. So once I will remove the decimal what I will get? I will get 3, 1, 4, 2, 6, 7, 8 and then divide the same with after right, right one and then after that count these numbers after decimal. So after decimal there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 numbers are there. So add 6 zeros over here. 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is in the form of PYQ where your Q is not equal to 0. Correct? So in this way we do it. So it was quite simple. You guys must have also done this in your previous exam or sorry in your previous classes. So next example in your textbook is uh, I'll write over here that you will have to convert 0 0.3333 and dot 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 into p by q form into p by q form where where q is not equal to 0. So how we are going to do this? So see few things which I am going to tell you. It's very important guys listen this very carefully that this 0 0.3333 I can write this in 0 0.3 bar. Okay. So how many numbers which are repeating? There is only one number which is repeating after 3. So what you will have to do? First you will have to assume that let's x is equal to 0 0.3 bar. And after that you will have to multiply it both sides with 10. Why 10? I will tell you. So what you will have to do, first check that how many numbers are repeating. So there is only one number repeating. So in this case, we will multiply with 10. Means after 1, you will have to write 1 0 from the both side. Suppose there is a question 0 0.27. So in this case, how many numbers are repeating? Two numbers are repeating. So in this case, what I will do, I will write it like this. X equal to 0 0.27 bar and I will multiply both side with 100. Why 100? Because there are two numbers which are repeating. Similarly, if there are three numbers are repeating, suppose 274, three numbers are repeating. So in this case, what I will do? I will simply multiply the equation with 1000. So this thing you will have to keep in the mind. Okay. After multiplying this, what I am getting? I am getting 10x is equal to 3.3 bar. How you will get? Like, see here. If I am going to multiply this number with 10, what, what will I get? I will get 3.333 and so on. So which will be equal to your 3.3 bar. So you got here 3.3 bar. Now you will have to do one thing. You will have to further split this 3.3 bar into like in the sum of two numbers. So how you are going to split this? In order to split this, first you will have to subtract this 3.3 bar from the 3.3 bar subtract your questions. What was your question? Your question was 0 0.3 bar. So if you subject for, subtract what will you get? You will get 3. So now you will write this 10x is equal to 3 plus your question. Your question was this one 0 0.3 bar. So 0 0.3 bar. Correct? And we have assumed that x is equal to 0 0.3 bar. After that what you will have to do? 10x is equal to 3 plus x. Why x? Because 0 0.3 bar is equal to x which we have already assumed. Now send this x on the left hand side. So what will you get? 10x minus x is equal to 3 which is equal to 9x is equal to 3 such that x is equal to 3 upon 9. So it will be cut and you will get 1 upon 3 which is in the form of p upon q where, where q is not equal to 0. Got it? So let's go to the next question. <clears throat> so before going to the next question, there is one more thing which you will have to uh, just look into that. Like suppose you know the value of 1 upon 3 is equal to 0 0.333 and so on. 
Suppose someone will come and ask you tell me the value of 2 upon 3. So there is one method long division method by that method you will be able to find this value but suppose the question has been asked you will have to find the value of 2 upon 3 into decimals and and you don't have to use the division method. So what will you do? So you already know the value of 1 upon 3 correct? So simply 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3. So what was the value of 1 upon 3? This was the value of 1 upon 3. So you can write it like this 2 multiplied by 0 0.3 bar which is equal to 0 0.6 bar. Simple multiplication. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. So what was your next question? Next question is saying that you will have to convert 1.272727 and so on into P by Q form where Q is not equal to 0. So how you are going to do this? So this I can write it like this 1.27 bar. <clears throat> so what I have told you first assume x is equal to 1.27 bar. After assuming x equal to 1.27 bar you will have to multiply both side with 100. Why 100? Why 100? Think because there are two digits which are you can see two seven there are two digits which are repeating i have told you in the last question ki if there are one digit we will take just one zero that's ten if there are two digits repeating we will take hundred if there are three digits repeating we will take thousand and so on so in this case i will multiply both side with hundred after multiplying this with hundred x is equal to what you will get you will get 127.27 bar okay after that what you will have to do Remember I have told you that you will have to split this 127.27 into two numbers in the in the addition of two numbers. So how, how will you split? So what you will have to do from this 127.27 bar you will have to subtract your question. What was your question? 1.27 bar this you will have to subtract. So once you will subtract what will you get? You will get 126 correct. So write it like here that 100 x is equal to 100 x is equal to 126 plus 1.27 correct now this will become 100 x is equal to 126 plus what was the value of 1.27 what we have assumed it as x so this will become x now send x this side so you will get 100 x minus x is equal to 126 which is equal to 99x equal to 126 and x is equal to 126 upon 99. So this will be go by 9. So this is 11 and this is 9 minus 9, 9 for the 36. So you will get 14 upon 11. That's your answer. Understood? Okay, let's go to the next question. It means next example of your book. So next example of your book was saying it's 0 0.235 and only 35 is repeating. Only 35 is repeating. So what I have told you remember you will have to do one thing that again assume this as x equal to 0 0.235 and your 35 is repeating. Correct. So how many digits are repeating? Two digits are repeating it means we will have to multiply both side with 100 so 100 x is equal to 100 times 0 0.235 where 35 is repeating so what will you get you will get 100 x is equal to 23.535 repeating see how, how it's coming see 0 0.235 i can write it like this but uh, 0 0.235355 and so on so if i am going to multiply this number with 100 what i will get so decimal will shift after two digits so decimal will come here so i will get 2 point sorry 23.5 and then 353535 so what's repeating 35 is repeating so i can write, write this like 23.5 Three five where three five is your repeating number. Got it? And now what you will have to do? You will have to split this. So in order to split this, what I have told you that from this number twenty three point five three five, which is repeating, you will have to subtract your question. What was your question? Your question was zero point 
2, 3, 5. If you are going to subtract, what you will get? You will get 23.3 over here. Correct? So now you split this. So while when you will split, how will you write? You will write it like this. 100x is equal to 23.3 plus your question. Your question was 0 0.2. 235 or 35 bar. Understood, guys? Okay, so let's move further. So now what you will have to do? You will have to replace this with x. So this you will get 100x is equal to 23.3 plus x. This x will come on the left hand side. So this will become 100x minus x is equal to 23.3. Which means 99x is equal to 23.3 which is equal to 23.3 upon 99. So see this is not in the form of p by q. Why this is not in the form of p by q? Because in the form p by q both p and q are integers. Both p and q are integers. But in this case what you are seeing your numerator is not integer so in order to make the numerator integer what i will have to do i will have to multiply by 10 both numerator and denominator so what i will get i will get 233 upon 99 that's sorry 990 that's your answer got it cool let's go to the next example of your book so what what's the next example of your book next example of your book is showing that saying that you will have to find an irrational number between two rational numbers 1 by 7 and 2 by 7 means you will have to find one irrational number between 1 by 7 and 2 by 7 so if you guys remember i have already told you how to find multiple rational numbers between two given rational number but while uh, taking that lecture i have told you that how to find the irrational number also between two rational number so anyway i will repeat over here like suppose there are two rational numbers r and s and you will have to find one irrational number between this. So irrational number I will say these are the rational numbers r and r and is rational numbers okay. So in order to find an irrational number between two rational numbers what will I do? Irrational what will I do? It's simply under root r times s. So here assume this as your r assume this as your s. So in order to find one irrational number between two rational numbers, it's r times s which is equal to under root 1 upon 7 multiplied by 2 upon 7 which is equal to 2 upon 49 in under root. So that's your irrational number which is between 1 by 7 and 2 by 7. Okay. But suppose, so this is one method. Okay. Another method is that suppose in the question they have asked that you will have to find the irrational number in decimals. You will have to find the irrational numbers in decimals. So how you are going to find the irrational number into decimal? So what you will have to do? You will have to convert these both the rational numbers 1 by 7 and 2 by 7 into decimal form. So if you are going to convert, so 1 by 7, I can write it as 0 0.142857 bar, correct? And 2 by 7, I can write it like this, 0. 285714 bar. This I am not going to show you how to do this. You guys know how to divide. So in this way we can write it. Now you will have to find a number which is greater than this number. Which is greater than this number and less than this number. Correct? So I can write that number as like 0 0.15. Correct? 0 0.15 is greater than 0 0.142 and less than this number. But this 0 0.15 is not, a, not an irrational number. This one is a rational number. Just remember your question. Your question was saying that you will have to find the irrational number between these two numbers. So just write this into irrational form like this 0 0.15, 0, 0.15, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 times 0 and so on. So this is your irrational number. So this is the another method of, method of finding irrational number. Okay, so you can use any on, any one of these two methods in the exam if they have not specifically asked that which method to use. Okay guys, so that's it from this chapter. So in the next video, I will be explaining, uh, I will be solving exercise 1.3.
so meanwhile please go and watch this video and if you are having any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section also you can ask your doubts by sending me the an email at info at the rate rapidgyan.com r a p i d rapidgyan.com also please make sure to subscribe the channel and turn on the notification by clicking on the bell icon so that as soon as i will upload the next video you guys will be notified also like and share this video so that the other students who are in need they will also be benefited because of this okay thank you